<laughs> morning, matey. <laughs> <laughs> morning, Mrs. B. Morning. <laughs> what, are you what are you doing? Soldier. What you doing? Lion. I'm putting all his toys <laughs> in his bed. We have to do this. His toys have to be in a certain place. Lion. We've got his favourite cow at the front. <laughs> and then he's got his pulley thing, an elephant, bone, tyre. You must have about 30 toys and in there, folks. Elephant. There we go. It's right, welcome. Right welcome on, back to the randomness that is Love Life and Triumph's weekly vlog. Where are we going today? Uh, we're going to have a walk to Stenson Lock and have some breakfast. <laughs> We're going to Stenson Lock yes. for some breakfast, okay. so we'll take you with us. The curtains are closed, by the way, because it is still very, very warm in the UK, so it keeps the boat lovely and cool this yeah. side. You know, Let me just show you our view outside. Yeah, no. Nice. Our neighbour's left. Well, not left, he's gone out cruising, so that's what we look at from our window all the way along the boat. And that's what I wake up to every morning over there, look. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we will see you um, on the towpath of this thing. Oh, folks, so yeah, we're just waiting on Mrs. B down in the kitchen. Kenneth's waiting there nice and patiently. She's getting Miss, uh, she's getting Mr. B's. She's getting <laughs> Kenneth's water and that. Just wanted to show you the roof. Uh, almost 12 months on. It's absolutely fine, folks, but I just need to take it back a little bit, um, give it another coat, which is what I was attempting to do last year, but I just ran out of time. Um, so, yeah, that's the big job for me this uh, next, uh, I don't know, month or so. It's just trying to do it when it's uh, not too hot, because believe you me, when you get on these roofs, when it's hot, you don't want to be on them very long. Anyway, that's the plan. That's Kenneth's little paddling pool. Let me just show you side on view of the boat. Someone did ask us the other day if we could show a little bit more of the boat. And there she is. There's Chow Bella. She's got a lovely, um, what they call Explorer um, stern. It's got a huge back deck, basically. We really do love the back deck. And if we do change the boat, uh, she's got, as we've said, she's got an awful lot to live up to. Um, just the one bedroom, as you know, intentionally, because we wanted the huge space that the lounge is. So say we've got a six, we've got a table that's got six chairs in it around it. We've got a four seater L shaped sofa. We've got another two seater sofa en route once we find it. So it's a big boat in terms of space. I say it's got a lot to live up to. The one thing I did think of is if we, if we don't change the boat, I was just thinking of changing the windows out to uh, some black frames. I quite like the black frame windows. Not massively important to do, but just maybe tidy it up a little bit. I don't know, modernise I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're doing. And that over there is our little boiler. What are you doing? Right. Stenson, which is about two miles away. It's a deep lock. But more importantly, it's a really brilliant cafe. Are you ready, Mrs. B? Yeah. I've got the door. Okay. Yeah, just shut the doors. Right. Come on, you fella. The, uh, the duster is going soon, so we have managed to get a buyer for it. So she's off, which will leave us with just one car. Yeah, it looks really posh though when they part side by side. It's like his and hers. Um, here's, here's the big one. <laughs> Goodbye. Mrs. B, what's the time? About half past seven. Yeah. And this is what the marine looks like. Half past seven on a typical, we're in the public car park. That's the main marina office. Those buildings there, basically called the boardwalk. Gallery, clothes shops, restaurant, pub, blah, blah, blah. But this is what it looks like at half past seven in the morning. <laughs> and in about two hours, Trust me, you won't be able to get car park space here. Which is fair enough, that's what it's all about. It's a, it's a destination marina. We keep saying it's not your typical sleepy, quiet marina. But when we're on our boat and we shut close our door... Can't hear a thing. It's amazing, it's like, a, yeah. it's like magic. You come from this little and bustle and hello, hello, good morning, all the chatting. 
And then you close that gate. Can't hear a thing, it. seriously. Because we've got so many trees and shrubs yeah. around us. And we do mean that. I've never... It, it's a weird feeling when you're on your boat, down in the boat. It is so incredibly quiet, yeah. even on the back deck. Yeah, it's lovely. It's right. Really nice. I'm going to show you um, a nice little place to come and eat in a minute when you do visit the marina. I say, that's the boardwalk down there. That's Kenneth's last little walk at night. I take him into the pub for a pint of mild. <laughs> Bag of port scratchings. <laughs> Am I joking now? <laughs> Bonus footage time. Mrs. Bonneville's attempting to demonstrate, <coughs> excuse me, demonstrate how to play kick croquet. Kenneth is going to go absolutely off on one there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be chasing it. <laughs> of course she's going to chase no, it and try and burst throw, it. I'm throw his ball. No, no, that's not for you. No. <laughs> Kenneth thinks that ball's his. Kenneth thinks all balls are his. There you go, off you go. Quickly, right. Quickly. Don't <laughs> kick it so hard. <laughs> oh, lordy. I'm trying to bend it like Beckham. <laughs> and I'm trying not to let him pass it. I'm going to put it back because I'm frightened of him by it. Because it's really squidgy. You can't have that. No, it's not your ball. No. Oh, the no. chaos that is Kenneth. Every single morning of the year. <laughs> no, he's not chaos. We love him. He's like, well, where's your ball? Go get your ball. <laughs> and the chaos is this Mrs. B every morning. And that is chaos, trust me. <laughs> we've got, well, <laughs> we've got a lot of geese. I've got mixed feelings on geese, folk. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I'm a huge, as you know, anyone that's watched any of our vlogs. Well, no, we're huge, huge animal lovers, but I can't get on with geese. I really can't. Oh. But they are cute. Kenneth, come here. Come I love that they all look after each other's babies. Yeah, there are. I don't know how many there are. Right. Come on, hey, where's your ball, you? Where's your ball, dog? Where's your ball? We'll have to see it. <gasps> Mum is giving... Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 Never going to happen. Oh, bless him. What are we having at Stenson Cafe? Uh, you have a light breakfast with well done bacon, two extra slices of toast. Kenneth has two dog sausages and I have a bacon and mushroom sandwich. And then you have a can of orange. Here we go, folks. Oh, it's all right. Start of the walk over the bridge onto the towpath. Up we go, up we go. Here we are. This is the Trenton Mersey Canal. Ah, bless him. His recall, folks, is genuinely really good. But when he sees another dog, that's our worry. But uh, he'll learn. I think he's going to learn the hard way. Bless him. He did, and there's no doubt about that. Yeah. He just can't help himself, folks. Pegging up to another dog. Bless him. That's because Canis is 100% play. He hasn't got a harmful bow in his body. That's his, uh, I think that'll be his little downfall, possibly. But do you know what? We've always said that we're not going to beat, and this is down to my sister, this, because she had a lot of rescue dogs. And, she, and when people go, it's okay, he's friendly. And you're like, well, I've got mine on a lead, yeah. and it's not. And this is the thing, if he runs at a dog that's on a lead, you know, that, Correct. that's bad. Correct. Yep. Right, we're on the canal. Oh, look at the wildlife here. We've got some swans coming down with their family. We've got some ducks with the family. The teenagers. the teenagers. Oh, look at it. That's where we live, folks. And that's the life Kenneth gets every single day whilst I'm at work. Buggers, folks. Look at that. Come on. Oh. Anyway, every day, Mrs. B usually hides a stick. Have you found his stick? No. Oh. It's, in, it's in the bush somewhere, isn't it? Unless someone else has found it, my love. But we try to hide a little stick every day for Kenneth. Oh, it's here. There we are, look. It's here, 
<laughs> Mummy put that That's in. it. Mummy is a good dog, Mum. But it's <laughs> He will come back to it though, he just likes to carry a stick. It's like a dummy for him, isn't it? And this boat here on the left, I hope the camera picks up, is a lovely boat. Very nice narrow boat, that. Lovely paintwork. Very nice. The walk takes us down to Stenson, takes about an hour? Yeah. About an hour. We, we go nice and slow, we have a couple mm. of stops for Kenneth. And uh, as I say, folks, there's a lovely cafe next to it. Yeah. There's also a nice pub called the Bubble Inn. Yeah. Which we've nice we've had a nice meal there. It was at uh, it was Greek, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And if we see some moving boats, we'll show you them. Because you never see ours moving. Oh, Kenneth just stabbed me with that stick. Ow. <laughs> Kenneth has got no social graces, by the way. He just comes barges through. Up. Just don't care where you are, what you're doing. Do you, mate? Hey. Oh, horticulture. I sound like you don't have it. Horticulture. Uh, no, you don't eat you them. You can't eat you them, don't eat them. But it's not lovely. Yeah, you see. What are they? There's some um, pretty flowers on I'm it. I'm not Did actually sure. But they're very nice. Uh, does anyone know what they are? I'm not very good on the weeds. They're all weeds, but it's like the Beautiful. irises. It's like yeah. the water irises. Yeah. You know, there's yellow and purple. Um, if anyone's not seen, those, anyone's not seen a lovely, lovely iris. Look at that. Come on. Oh, some Towpath is... Horticulture with Mr. B. Here we are, folks. Oh, this is it, yeah. Aren't they lovely? And it's pink blush. Look at And we've got... We've got the white ones. Is there a bee in here, did you see? Yeah, it was, it's in uh, that one there, look. Oh, right, it's, it's just gone in, in there, look. Don't get stung. Right, yeah, is there a little there bee in there? That. Oh, look at the little bee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not, like look at the little bee, folks. That's what we oh, want. look Lots at that. Plants, the bees like. Hey, he's up in there, look. Having well, a feast. Not only is it is it horticultural, but we're doing sort of like about the insects and everything as well. That's what um, Chow Bella would look a little bit like. I think this one's a 60 foot though, ours is 70. But, um, yeah, can you imagine Chow Bella out? Wendy, my love. Yeah. This on the left, called the Nadi, yeah. I'm right in saying used, used to be, to be uh, an Indian, didn't it? Yeah. Let's just show the viewers. And it's now closed until further notice and it's going to be reopened as... I think it's just going to be a pub. I think oh. it's just going to be for drinks and things. Just a pub? Yeah, we've got the Mad Hatter next door, which is a little tea shop. And the far right hand side is a tiny little tea shop there. It's lovely. In the summer, Again, probably later on this afternoon, that will be packed. Nice little place. Really nice. And then next to it, there's a conference centre where you can get, well, weddings and all that stuff. Hiya. Hi, mate. The Nadi. And Mad Hatters, sorry, yes. I was having a little rest. Now, up here on the right-hand side, I won't show you, is the... Uh, the dog poo bin. Our little boy, look, waiting for his mum. So I see the other side. Right. Come on then, fella. This way, Kenneth. Come on. Under the bridge. There he goes, look. Now, in a minute, there's a little bench which we shall be sitting on. Now, normally, we turn around here on a normal kind of a weekday for Mrs B and then she goes back to the, the boat. But we're going to carry on and Kenneth will be ecstatic. He loves this walk, he really does. Now we'll stop for a little break, folks. Popcorn chicken. And Kenneth, of course, gets fed better than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he does actually, yeah, yeah. Kenneth gets air dried steak, <laughs> air dried chicken, Get some water. chicken treats, 100% chicken, 100% chicken, chicken. steak. Chicken, Honestly, chicken. our grocery bill with this little boy. And we found these new sweet potato chips <laughs> wrapped in chicken, because his face yeah. wrapped in chicken. And he likes them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> My wallet doesn't. <laughs> we had uh, Kenneth at the vets a few weeks ago because. Um, it caught his dew claw 
um, I think I, I've spoke to different people and they've all said, oh, that's happened to so and so and so and so. Um, but it, it bled, didn't it? So we had to take him to the vets yeah. to have, um, to just to, to, you know, to give him some antibiotics and stuff. But aren't they a design fault, dew claws? I mean, I know that they were designed to, and to help with the speed when they, in the olden days, when they were running and going around corners and stuff, it, it helped and it's a bit like a, a thumb on us, isn't it? But it's such a design fault. Don't get me. <laughs> so what's a design fault, George? <laughs> right, so we crack, crack on. Yes, let's crack on. Down the towpath. Mm -hmm. Kind of eager to go, look. Yeah. Are you ready then? Right, right then. then. <laughs> Those are the key words with Kenneth. Right, right then. then. <laughs> you know what mine is goodbye <laughs>
that lovely little garden. Right, Mrs. B's off to order. I've got his wallet. <laughs> you order anything you want, my love. Hey, <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> Can I just say as well for the record, now Mrs. B is ordering the food. She does a brilliant, brilliant job of looking after me and Kenneth. Um, we come here to Stanson pretty much every week and she just goes and sorts all the food out, brings it back. So she really is a brilliant dog mum and a brilliant wife. There you go. Put that in as an outtake because I'm only joking. No, I'm not. I love you, Mrs. B. And we start with the tea. A Twix. The chocolate bars are available. We usually eat that on the walk home and a soft orange drink. Again, other brands are available. And as I say, this is Stenson Cafe, folks. It's um, it's lovely. It's, as I say, it's right next to the um, Stenson Lock. It's what I call a no-frills cafe. Lovely couple own it. And over there, look, that's the bubble in that we were referring to earlier. Nice plate of food in there if you want uh, some Greek. They give you one of these things at Stenson. When your food's ready, it vibrates. All I do is look at it. <laughs> I'm actually salivating and dribbling now. Waiting for it to vibrate. Oh. Mrs. Bonneville's going to get the food. Go, 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 Mrs. B. The next shot you'll see, folks, will be Mrs. B coming out there with a nice tray of food. Honestly, folks, if you could see me now, I'm properly salivating. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look, folks. <laughs> Goodbye. What can you say? Happy days. Happy, happy days. Until next week, Stenson. <laughs> that was lovely. Yep. And it's a lovely cup of tea because it's Yorkshire tea. Absolutely. We will wish you all the very best because we've had a nice breakfast and mm -hmm. now we've got to walk two miles back. So we will see you next week. Thank you ever so much for all the comments as usual and Thank you. questions and all that stuff. Think about subscribing, it's free. Give us a thumbs up and all that, and we'll see you next week. Mrs. Yeah. B, say goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. B. <laughs> see you next week, folks. And I was looking at the green dot then. Uh, Were you? No, I don't know. Mm. Goodbye. Bye. So, whether we put this in or not, Mrs. B, not this week's vlog, but maybe next week's, someone asked me the the other day at work what do we tend to do <laughs> on the boat? Well, we're on the back deck. Mrs. B's doing her nails. I've got Carly. We've got we've got our beer. Other brands are available. We're watching repair We're watching shop. Watching repair shop. Google that if you're not in the UK. Um, there's our view from the back deck. It's a beautiful sunny evening. We've just literally zipped up the back cover. That usually comes out. We've just had a roommate. There's our boy down there having a sleep. And that's what we tend to do. We just chill out, don't we? Yeah, just chill out. We've got a jigsaw puzzle, and we've got. <laughs> Let's, we just rock and roll. Everyone, just, let's pretend that we're rock and roll. Oh, yeah. We drink lots of tequila and that's uh, it. just down from the ceiling and stuff. There you go. <laughs> do you know? So, as I say, that's what we yeah, tend to do. Really I'll just move my beer. Let's just turn that volume down a bit. Just like that's it. So, yeah, that's what we tend to do, folks. We just. Sorry about the glare, the back. But, um, yeah, we're sitting on the back deck. Cheers. Having a couple of beers. Because mm. somebody just asked me the other day, what to do at night? Well, just like what you do at night, but we do it on a boat. On the back deck. On the back deck. That sounded wrong. Goodbye. <laughs> and off camera, Kenneth's doing something. Oh. Goodbye. What do you used to call him? It was shrub. David Bellamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I've got this for the rest of my life. Oh, dear. You fell in your feet when you met me, young man. Comments below, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Still not vibrating. Come on. Oh.